Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Crip Monkey Paints, where we are painting. He's, he's a crawling bat. Crawling bat, yep. He's so flippin' cute. I loves him. Uh, he has two different versions. So I accidentally, because, you know, I wanted the armored version. But he has a unarmored version as well. So he's all fluffy and furry. I like armor. Because armor's fun to paint. Honestly, it's super easy to paint, too. It was the um, Alter the Streams, too. was specifically For, armored, I think. Right? Yeah, specifically armored. Which, you know, to be fair, Ghosty knew that I wanted to paint the armored <laughs> ones. So. I think he was kind of catering to what I wanted to do anyway. Um, and then, of course, you know, if you guys haven't been in the Discord lately, go check out. Because Ghosty's painting the unarmored version. And it's looking phenomenal. So, mm -hmm. it's in the painting channel he put. Yeah, pictures. that mouth was cool. Mm-hmm. I love the effect he's got going on the skin. Uh, and it's a perfect example, too, of he had an idea and he wanted it to go in this direction and it just kind of veered off. And he just was like, you know what? It's looking awesome. I'm just going to go in this new direction. So rather than forcing it back to what he wanted, I, I think it looks phenomenal. Hello, so, Rock Fan. Hi, Rock Fan. Uh, hopefully, Rock Fan, you have your Etsy order or you are getting it soon, there's an extra little surprise in there for you. Um, my eyes watering. It went from twitching to watering. That's fun. It's been dry. So, uh, I base coated this guy in brown under his belly and then kind of a gray on his top so that he, you know, well, I just like these colors. I'm gonna start painting because I got a lot to do. This is one of those paints that I'm just not sure how it's going to go. It's either going to be, oh, wow, okay, uh, well, guys, we're done. Or I'm going to get sucked into all the little fiddly bits and never done. Rockfan says the USPS says today, but who knows? Yay. Um, so <laughs> I, was, I was chatting in Discord <coughs> and... Uh, I was chatting in Discord about my thought process for this guy. And I think because vampires and I know it's just a bat, but he's he's a vampire guard in my head. Um, but because vampires and werewolves fight so much, I thought that this guy's armor would be made of silver does it make sense you know, what it should be. so i really like the effect that i got on famine when i painted the armor black first and then went in and dry brushed the metallic cover over the cover color over the top i think i'm going to be done talking now. <laughs> and uh it it left all of it just was a really cool effect and i really like how it turned out so i'm doing the same thought process oops rafan says won't know until tonight gonna go apple and pumpkin picking that's fun on that time of year isn't it so yay vampires but werewolves are cool tough <laughs> joy i'm okay with either uh, I like both, especially like movies that have both. Not all movies that have both, but movies that are about monsters and they have vampires and werewolves are cool. So, and it's appropriate because it's Halloween, which is actually creeping up super fast. I don't even really even understand what happened to this month. It just like, I blinked and it was Halloween. I was so excited because I got like three or four decorations out in the yard super early. And now I have no decorations compared to everybody else. I'm like, what the? Maybe we should make that as part of our house cleaning. 
That's tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it is tomorrow. Speaking of puppers, Rock Fan, we actually got a little costume for our dog, which we don't really usually do that. Um, but it's just a set of little black wings, which are kind of funny. They're kind of cute, but considering he's an all black dog and the wings sit really close to his body, he just looks fat. <laughs> Doesn't really look like he's got wings, especially at night. You just won't see it, but it's fun. And he doesn't hate it. The only piece of clothing that he really likes is his thunder jacket. That thing works really well for him. Thunder coat, thunder jacket, I'm not sure. It protects him from all the big scary booms. Even works when he's when we've, there's fireworks going on. So my plan is to get this base coat done. Then I'm going to be a good girl. Bless you. And I am going to set this down. And let the black dry all the way. Then I will work on the base while I'm waiting. But I am going to, he's got these big claws, like these big giant ones. And then these two little ones. I am going to do those in black as well. Your side of the trying to leave his skin under there gray. You're talking about how a uh, sir just looks fatter. Yeah. Wings on. Rockman says, "Looks like there's a uh, more pup to love." <laughs> he doesn't like lovins. <laughs> sure, he does. He does from you, not from me. <laughs> but that's uh, honestly that's my fault because he's so cute and fluffy. I pick him up, and he hates being picked up. Uh, Rockman says, "My dog has now learned the sound of my Bluetooth earbuds case open. Runs out, ready to go for a walk." <laughs> Careful uh, how loud you say that word. Yeah, well, he, he can't hear me right now because he's in Cora's room on the floor with the fan going. Gotcha. Um, no, his uh, <clears throat> that's one of his words. As far as sounds go, we have 360 for the family. So when it makes its sound, he just starts looking at the door because he thinks, you know, Izzy's coming to visit or something. Yeah, he'll like if anytime the 360 makes the somebody came home noise, he, he jumps up and starts waiting at the door. Sometimes he does it when people leave. Yeah. If he didn't see you walk out the door, uh -huh. and then he hears the noise, then he will uh, he'll run and wait and see who's coming. Or woof. 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 <laughs> he also, uh, we use Telegram to message each other, and he cannot stand the noise it makes. He associates that with streaming too, I think. I'm not sure. But just like he will, he'll literally be sitting on the couch next to me, and Izzy will message me, and it'll go off, and he will jump down off the couch and go sit between Ty's feet with his tail tucked between his legs. I'm like, my phone is going to attack you. I don't know what. Ruffin says, You think they can't hear you, but they can hear. <laughs> or they hear everything. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, uh, like, he was outside today, and he was barking at, uh, the neighbor down the street has a yard sale going on, so people are, you know, walking around and doing all that, God forbid somebody walk near his fence, How dare they? gonna lose his shit, right? <laughs> uh, so he, uh, and then I am using a flat black, so mainly because I want to make sure it really contrasts the shine of the silver stuff. Um, so yeah, he's barking his little head off and there was, whenever I go out there, not Ty, whenever I go out there and walk toward him like that to make him stop, he just runs 
further down and barks. He, he does it to me too. Yeah. He does do you okay, but not as bad. It just depends on how eager he is to yell at the yeah. poor passerby. Um, but so what do you I like? I'm like, I'm not even playing this game today. I'm like, there's no way there's too many people. I'm not going to get his attention by going out and trying to get him. So I legitimately, um, uh, picked up his, um, his treat jar. I don't want to say that loud, word too loud because he'll come running as well. And I just picked it up and I shook it right outside the door. And he's way over in the back of the yard, right? Shook it right outside the door. And he turns, looks, beeline straight into the house. I'm like, yeah, you heard that noise. Can't hear me telling you to stop. But you can hear that little jingle jingle of, of the good stuff. We usually don't call them treats anyway. We call them cookies. <laughs> I really don't think he can hear right now because that fan's on the floor. Let's test that theory. Is it cookie time? Don't do it again, though. No, I won't do it again. That, that's pressing it. But I also do want to encourage him to come out. Well, he get... he'd be here by now. <laughs> yeah, he'd have been here by now if he'd heard me. I, I think you're right. I think he can't hear me. <laughs> Dogs absolutely have selective hearing. Yeah, I agree, Rock Man. Especially when we're talking about like people trying to run by, you know. Yeah. He's, he's into it. He can't hear you. And the the worst part of it is, honestly, is like his tail is going 90 miles an hour. And it's like he's begging to be petted. But he doesn't actually want you to touch him. He just wants you to let you lick him. Let let him lick you. Yes, reverse uh -huh. it. That's not that's not a thing. Um, he just wants you to bring your hand over so he can lick the ever living shit out of you. Just like <laughs> lick the skin off of your bones. But he's gonna bark like he's gonna bite you. Our other dog, Mister, was genuinely afraid of everything. Um, you couldn't approach him. He wouldn't bite you, but he would, he would cower behind me. Um, but you couldn't approach him. But if you just stopped and let him come to you, if you like just waited, he'd walk over to you, sniff you, and then like, oh, nope, you're good. Cool. And then he's jumping on you and running right crazy and doing everything. He, on the other hand, loved to be picked. Like legit, sit on my hip like a like a child, like a baby. Yeah, I can't tell you how many I think he, pictures I think you were holding him like that on stream a couple times when we started stream. Uh, probably. Uh, I mean, I have three kids. That was just how I naturally picked up and held something small. So, yeah, it was one of those things where I just like when he was a puppy, I carried him like that because it was easy. So, excuse me. You know, it's the first time I actually checked to make sure I was on camera. <laughs> Late start, slow brains. That's our Saturday, right? Well, I was downstairs and uh, was resetting prints before I came up. And I had um, one failure. Which, you know, it happens. But uh, it was very clear that I had something on my FEP. So was went to clear that out. And it was a very tiny little puncture. So tiny, in fact, that like two little spots had leaked out. And that was it. So that was nice. That means don't have to change the... I was able to, like, legitimately just wipe it off of the screen protector. So, no real damage, you know? Um, and... So I got that cleared off, and then I reset everything else, and then I changed the FET for that one. And while I was working on that, one of the other printers stopped, and everything looked fine. All the prints were fine on it. But whenever I went, because basically I have a procedure because I've, 
I punctured so much fat that I've just, my habit now is as soon as I strip everything off before I reset, I run my little plastic spatula through and I stir the resin, but I'm also checking the, to make sure there's nothing on the fat. And I could feel that little telltale like, hmm, what's that? So took it off, drained it, and sure enough, there's another little dent, which in after years of doing this, dents mean the next one's going through. So set that one off to the side. That one's not. Uh, Got to redo the FEP on that one to whenever we're done here, but the other Jupiter FEP too. Take yeah, the long. Well, and the nice thing about having the extra is things like this wouldn't necessarily happen. Like right now I'm I'm down a machine because I didn't have time to get it re you know get the FEP put replaced before this. Problem is I have extra uh tanks which also need the FEP replaced. Because I'm not really good about well, I don't need that one right now, so I'll just set it off to the side and I'll change it out later. If I would just change it every single time, then I'd always have two extras. So the Jupiter is up and running because it's an extra tank at the moment. Yeah, I'm glad we got that. Uh, which is funny because I was so excited when it came in the mail uh, because we got the Jupiter on Kickstarter. I had forgotten that I had uh, added an extra tank when we purchased through the Kickstarter. So here I was thinking of like, eventually I'm going to have to get on there and buy a new tank so that I have a, an extra one. I was smart and I did it the first time. <laughs> We didn't know what it was, isn't that? The, oh no, that was the uh, Viva La Dirt Lady. That we got was the, the Kickstarter, and we're like, "What is this?" Yeah, we got something in the mail, <clears throat> or we got a uh, a notification that something was being shipped to us, and I'm like, "I didn't order anything. I don't know what the hell this is." Should have recognized it with by the initials, but I just didn't because we had picked when we backed them on Kickstarter. We had picked a um a digital level. There wasn't going to be anything shipped to us you know save them the shipping because they're in new zealand is that right yes i'm like you know that's that's a bit far that's a bit much uh but apparently that was a stretch goal they hit so got a little coin and we got stickers and pretty awesome put them in the bedroom no they're in my office oh <laughs> I had I literally just set them down. I haven't done anything with them yet. Did you happen to check uh, my printer this morning? Because I haven't been done. Looks good. Okay. Yeah, it's still running. Looks great. Yeah, it won't be done until tonight. But getting closer on that one, that sunken uh, set. Don't let them see you. Oh man, Doctor. And I'll go straight into my paint. Blech. Yeah. I just realized, like, I laid all of my brushes out on my... Because I washed them. But I laid them all out on my paper towel, so I had no access to paper towel. So later in the stream, we're going to do a poll. Yes. Determine what we're giving away tomorrow. Okay, it says, work printer, bar bed, it... UV paint. Oh, work. I'm, I said barf. It's barf. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I, work I printer. can't even make sense of that. <laughs> I'm barf fed. That's the problem. It's a uh, work printer barfed. It's UV paint. Ugh. Oh, bleh. That can't be good. No, that doesn't sound good. And as soon as somebody turns, oh no, I guess that's not glow in the dark. Though. I was like imagining it's glow in the dark. Oh yeah, no, it's cleaned up, and somebody flips the lights off, and the walls are just covered. <laughs> uh huh. Ryan says that was a lot of new parts and waiting for the re <laughs> replacement parts and repair technician. Oh yeah. Yikes. Well, the positive side. Not home printer. Yeah, at least it's not your home printer. That is good. Ooh, my eye twitched. Don't let them see you. I normally uh, really like my gray and 
uh, gray and, and kind of rocks, but I'm going to go with brown rocks today because he's gray. I really don't want him to blend. Sometimes I do. Doing a plant mimic once. Very much wanted him to blend into his surroundings. I think we already talked about this, Ty, but what are we talking about tomorrow? No, we did not talk about it. Which swarm we had? No, I, I mean, I... I'm hoping since it's a giveaway that we're going to have a chunk of people on, which will mean we were talking about the store. Ruffin says, I like the brown rocks. It's me doing that again. Yeah, those are cool. Three. Um, if it turns out that we don't have enough people to talk about that big of a subject, then... Well, first, is there something you had in mind? Mm. No. Then... I don't know. Um... What do you know about all the filth that's going on here? I mean, we could revisit farmsteads, honestly. People know more about the world now. We haven't talked about structures and practices and culture and all that stuff with Agdal farmers for a long time. No, we haven't. And it's on my mind because I'm writing uh, about Terra Olds and oh, she's just pulled up to arms. All that's on my mind. I just saw a really quick glance that uh, Rockfan had posted something in Discord. <laughs> And general geek geekiness is like literally i saw your name and general geekiness that's all i could <laughs> all i could get oh uh, i will show you the cuteness is unbearable oh my oh, god man I see this is me nappy nappy this is kind of the one of those things where i see something like that and i just i can't let it go i just i have to join you i have to give you all the snuggles in the world and that's what the second picture looks like I had to wake up for this. <laughs> this is what happens to you when you're this cute, dude. <laughs> Dog tags. Love it. Super cute. I paid dog tax at Rockfeet. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go with that. I mean, eventually we need to get back to the farms and... Before, I was kind of cagey about it because people didn't know about, hey, castle walls are still a thing. But now, farms can look a little different to people. And I think we'll have more ideas considering you could. there's an age of a start out where it's just a land ship. And the first thing you know they're building is they're drying sheds for Agdal. That's how they're going to make money, right? Right. Uh, the drying shed and an enclosure for beef cattle. Stuff like that. But then eventually, after a couple of generations, a farm is going to have walls, rock walls, potentially, you know, wood parapets or something. Um, parapets, or wood, uh, palisades, and a, you know, a permanent house built and stuff like that. So, yeah, depending on how old the farm is, it starts to change the way it looks. Yeah. Rockhand says she is sassy. She looks sassy. She looks like she needs extra cuddles. Happy to come and help with the cuddling. Thinking 
like all of these areas. I have some skulls right there that I want to paint first, but I'm thinking what I'm going to do is like the non-rocky area is going to get covered in. Have have it over here. I have it over. Here. I don't have to do it. Right. Um. Did you mean to grab some? No. Uh, because like I said, I can't <clears throat> can't do it right now. Anyway, I need to paint stuff, other parts. Do it. Um. But I have like a winter's. Kind of burnt looking grass. I think that would look really good. With but I definitely want to make sure I have enough of it. But even if I don't, I can put it around sparsely and put mud and stuff like that in instead of just the don't do it very often where I just like cover the base in grass but I think this has enough the rock is the main area so it'd be filling in like this would be the biggest area of grass but I still it's not that much not going to work for me. Different brush again. It's technically, I think that's the first brush I was using. This white is so thick. Hopefully by next year they've got a lot more Halloween music. Some of this seems new from the last time we listened, but I'm not sure. They haven't paid it. That, that's kind of where I'm at. Is like a lot of it I kind of, like certain ones I pay attention to and other ones they just kind of fade away. I don't really pay that much attention. So I'm not sure. Like this one I don't recognize. I still haven't had time to mess with uh, finishing Halloween stuff, so <laughs> with pictures. Are you thinking we're going to have that for the last stream of the month, or? So, so busy. Maybe I can look at that uh, day or tomorrow. Right now, I got a pumpkin. Ah, oh, you're sitting in front of it, though. You need to move it over. Oh, I messed something up. So my... Oh, because I... Hold on. There you can see. Yeah. And we can't do anything behind me because the green screen. screen. I don't know. I mean, if the shades were closed, we could try the no green screen thing. I don't. I mean, they don't look better. It's like the Snapchat stuff. Yeah, last year we did like Snapchat, like filters on my face. And stuff. 
Yeah, I don't even have that like available <laughs> at the moment. All right, I know I hit the black, but it doesn't matter that much because, like I said, grass. So. Rock fans heading out about fifteen. Okay. What? Well, hey, do you want to leave a vote on what your preference is between the giveaway tomorrow being a painted or an unpainted armored bat? Pulling bat. Well, it'd be if it's unpainted, it could be the the unarmored one. Unarmored or armored, because I got to print them out either way. So. <laughs> Hello, Gareth. Hi, Gareth. So, Rock Band, if you if you know which one you would prefer the giveaway was for, you can leave a vote now. Of course, we can only do the, the giveaway on Twitch. Can we manually enter Rock Band's name? Um, I wonder if I can enter myself at Rock Band. I don't know that that would work. I could enter you. I know that will work. Okay. So Dawn's entry will be Rock Fan. Yes, that's the way. <laughs> Unpainted less work. <laughs> well, technically the, the, the painted one would be this one. Would be the one I'm doing now. Right, so yeah. The work is getting done regardless. I think it is the same home. Yeah, like I said, I like I recognize some of them, but not all. Uh no need to enter me if I'm not on Twitch. That's my fault. <laughs> well, I wish the tools worked for everything. I, yeah, that's what annoys me. It doesn't work for everybody. I'm looking at Vecteezy. They got lots of fun. Creepy stuff. Oh, a bunch of this is videos, though, which we can't... We used to be able to get videos, and then they changed it to different account. Is there really? I didn't know that. Yeah, there's like a just pro. Ours is Shit. Uh Hello Golden. Hi Golden. Um so Gareth, I guess if you're still around, you said you wanted to do voiceovers when we do audio for the the uh the new wellfinder gareth story but you probably didn't know how big it was <laughs> do you regret now <laughs> uh, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue so many decisions were made but I, I mean i can break it all out for you too where all of the all the quotes of course but then also there's you know Thoughts, internal dialogue too. Rough iron. Rough iron. I decided that the chains that are holding his armor on should be rough iron. So we released the big one one day, and the next day we can release the shorter one because we're, I was actually working on them at the same time and then obviously the shorter one I was able to buzz right through um, once I was done with the bigger one it was fun though it's been a fun couple of weeks Oh, uh, did we send it over Patreon, Gareth? We, yeah, we have, uh, there's a post for both of the campfire stories now over the last couple of days we put in 
how to get to them on dog you go to either one of them they're, they're both in the same uh, file folder rather for you um ghosty says i read the new ghost story this morning thought it was awesome love the idea of him encountering a real ghost <laughs> Liking the color so far, Dawn. Thank you. Yeah, I love that base. Ooh. The wind is picking up and carrying everyone else's leaves into my yard. Yay! Like a big basket. Hmm. Back to happy things. Seems silly that I'm painting these chains right now because I haven't even really worked on the bat's body yet. But I base coated him in a gray and then did a nice little brown underneath. Kinda really happy with the way they look at the moment. So I'm not really sure what I want to do. So I'm kind of leaving it alone for now on other things like details on the chain and the chains are so simple that it's not that big of a deal to have to redo that if i hit it with something or you know when i'm dry brushing or something like that no i don't want to choose wisely stupidly <laughs> Does it seem like so far that you'll still be working on this one tomorrow? He looks like a cool gargoyle, Rock Fans does. Uh, no, I don't think I will be. Oh. Quick, huh? Yeah, like I said, this that that was this was one of those models that I just don't know. It may I may get stuck on details, but right now it just seems like I'm flying through it. Ghosty would is, uh, I'd like y'all's opinion. Should I paint those two ghosts I printed yellow like my logo, or should I actually paint gold? <laughs> I'll go with gold. I mean, how do you not paint them straight up gold, man? They're they're golden ghosts. They gotta be. Uh, Gareth says, so did you want me to do the recordings for the recent story? If you have... Do one yellow and one gold. That's kind of what I was thinking. Oh, there you go. Uh, yes, Gareth, I am going to bug you for that. I'm, I'm assuming that you have software you can record with. Um, Rockman says, one ghost gold and one the other idea. Split the difference. Yeah. Everyone else is making way smarter decisions than me. I just went straight to gold. <laughs> it's gold. Because golden. Um, oh, that's a good idea, Garrett. That's probably what I'll do. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> it makes much more sense to do both. That being said, hold. Yeah, Gareth, we could talk about it on the side, too. I mean... Like, I can look at formats and stuff, but I think pretty much if you can make a, a good recording with, like, uh, MP3 file format, I'll be able to use But we can talk about it on the side, about how to space out dialogue and stuff. And like I said, I'm going to get essentially a script together for you to pull all of it out. Make sure we've got thoughts. The gold is the special shiny, says Rockman. <laughs> uh, have y'all decided if you're giving this guy away? So We're going to let you guys decide. Yeah, we're going to do a poll in a, in a, after a while here. Excuse me. We're going to do a poll after a while so that uh, you guys can vote on if it's unpainted one or this one. Beauty, 
started the feather to the boar. Like, hey, like I remember this. Yeah. It's, ah! it's probably the same. I just haven't paid attention the other times we've played through it. See how many there are. See, the, the, there's there's 20 of these Halloween songs now, so I do know that they changed it, but I don't know if they've changed played the last one or two. Gotcha. Originally, I think they had like 12. Or yeah, see, I was thinking there was like 10 or something. That might be it. Now there's 20 of them. So it goes a little longer. We're on number 15 already, so long now and it'll be done. <laughs> um. Oh, uh, Ghosty asked if there's any idea on the crowdforging topic tomorrow. Yes! So Ooh. we're hoping since it's a giveaway that we'll get... Uh, Plenty of folks in. So if we get like six or more people that are interested and involved in crowdforging, then that topic is going to be the storm. The storm that travels uh, in the southern tip of the plateau, south, and then back east and follows Mira de, Mira Scar up and then back to the plateau. This like ever traveling huge storm uh, with its own ecosystem in it. So if we get six or more people crowd forging, that's what we'll. Otherwise, we're going back to the farmsteads. We haven't talked about it in a while, and now people have got a little different picture in their mind, right? Now they understand. Uh, hopefully, more people understand now that you know, a, a new farmer is going to have their land ship, and then they're going to be working on enclosures for their meat cattle and a drying building for their ag doll. But once they've been there for a couple of generations, they may have like rock walls around where they live and actual permanent big house they're living in. And then other people having their houses around them that work with them or families, whatever, right? And Gareth, you don't need to worry about it. We understand weekends are hard, man. It just this schedule worked a little bit better for us. But I actually will be streaming on Tuesday night again uh, next week. Yes. Uh, or the, I don't even know what to call it. The, the basics. Back, back to basics. Back to basics, right? Yeah. So Dawn did do a back uh, basics. Like you even covered working with Reaper miniatures mm -hmm. and 3D printed miniatures and stuff like that in one of our early episodes, maybe one of the first or five episodes. Yeah. So it's been more than a year now. So we're gonna but i've had a couple of requests for it um rock fans go with both topics that that's good uh, yeah i am too either either way i'm excited to talk about it right uh ghosty says meef cattle are the armored cattle right that's right yep um era says i get it but i still feel bad for not being there some plus i miss hanging out but you shouldn't feel bad. I was sitting here writing. Actually, I was writing on uh, the new Wellfinder Gareth story on either Monday or Wednesday, waiting for your stream to start. And then the next thing I know, you were posting in our Discord. And I'm like, shit. <laughs> so I was sitting right here waiting for your stream and still just... Off of my own little world. Uh, literally. <laughs> I don't know if either of you have had a chance to read Wellfinder Gareth. <laughs> Excuse me, Wellfinder Gareth and the Golden Cops yet. Heading off now, says Rockfan. Hey, th fun. Thanks for hanging out. As always. Uh, Gareth says, I'll tag you on Discord when I go live if you guys want. That's fine. You know, we have the uh, self-promotion self -promotion thing. would really be awesome. Welcome to, I mean, that's what it's for, is for all of our friends to jump in and remind us. Uh, Gareth is starting it now. <laughs> it's like 11 pages. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like the new format for these short stories, too, because the font and stuff for the content we were doing before is fun. But hopefully this is easier to read. Especially when we have things that are essentially short stories. Uh, Ghosty says, I just wanted to make sure 
can't remember if I've ever said this, but I think it'd be a cool idea if the Meef Cattle's armor constantly grows. The owners need to shave it off. Yes. So it doesn't... Has that been said before? Yeah, I remember talking about this with Ghosty about like the whole idea of like shearing it like a sheep. That not using, familiar, but, but yeah, not so, exactly shearing them, but yeah, we've we've talked about this, and I loved that idea. Well, I, I it only sounds vaguely familiar to me, so I gotta check notes. Mm. Um, yeah, I like that. I like remember instead that. of shears, maybe they're using files and like uh, proper like you know those shears essentially, but yeah, you know those ten snippers, those, yeah, like that sort of thing. Oh yeah. Uh, anyway, I should probably finish reading. Uh, and there's need to shave it off so it doesn't get too heavy for them. And that armor can be used for actual armor. Yep, we've talked about all of this. For building material, kind of like shearing sheep. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, and maybe that's part of if you can, if you're a farmer and you can build a rock enclosure, that the Meef cattle, of course, they have to deal with this naturally anyway, right? So if you have rock enclosures, they can sort of scratch and rub against it to shear it themselves but that's and not very just, profitable though right or you say oh go ahead don't i was say? gonna say you know if they if you've got the right sort of thing that they can just kind of rub it off themselves you can just go pick it up behind them yeah, especially if you're like good idea i'm not making armor out of this i'm making my tin roof out of it i don't yeah. care what it looks like let them shear it off themselves yeah less work on you you know uh, I know it's not crowd forging day, but I know I don't I'd care. <laughs> forget that if I didn't say. Well, I mean, yeah, it's not going to bother us. We're forging on the plane like every day, right? Yeah, it even doesn't if, bother me at all. Even if all we can do is talk about it that day. Uh, but I'm going to check my notes and make sure that stuff is in there. Uh, I couldn't remember if I mentioned it. I kind of think of it like how rams need to bash their horns so it doesn't grow too much. Same kind of thing. They need to grind down their armor or wait. I like it. Yeah, like I said, I, it, Ty hadn't even read it all the way out yet. And I remember, like, I went straight to the sheep. I remember having this conversation. I definitely think it needs to be the way it is. Yeah, I don't believe I had that in my dossier. Definitely. Oh, we can add it. That's the fun thing about all this being development content. Even the things you've seen can be altered until they finally end up as ink on the page, so to speak. Okay, that one's new. I've never heard him say it, but I've heard that laugh. Yeah. Never heard him say, I'll get you my pretty. I get Toto. They probably said it. We just missed it. I don't know. I'm assuming that you guys are hearing it clearly enough to know what we're talking about with the Halloween music. Oh. Okay. I do not see it in any make a new one see what other because we have you guys know how big the regular the general notes section is like 34 pages that's just one of the documents we've got all the specific ones like kern clan medic and here is scar and all this stuff right mm. Yeah. And I need the potatoes today. Feel my foot trying to Charlie horse. Ramp up. Uh oh. Let's 
So, you know, I don't like to be normal, right? So, I don't get Charlie horses in my calves or legs. I get them in my feet. And, like, legitimately, my toe will point straight up. Super fun. I can feel my... I can feel the tightness happening in my ankle and the top of my foot, and I, I know it's coming. And I, and I know it's not pleasant, but I know I can't also be alone. I think most people probably have Charlie horses like me. Whereas Dawn is like, ooh, that's tight. I'm like, in the middle of the night, <laughs> yelling, ah! <laughs> Because I'm getting this cramp down the back of my leg. <laughs> I was on the phone with my best friend one time. And uh, she got a Charlie horse and she's like screaming bloody murder. And Ty's like, okay, I think that's a bit much. And I'm like, she has a Charlie horse. He goes, oh God, is she okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Immediately changed his tune. <laughs> oh, man. I do not like them. I like them, Sam. I not like light green. So I didn't see it in notes. I'm going to check. Was that just a month? Oh. We did Meef Cattle. Yes. Let me check this and see if I had anything hearing. Why documentation is important. I'm having issues picking what brush I want to use today. Sorry, guys. Oh, that was a pretty noise. BT Lowry, thank you for subscribing. Thank Two you. months now. Here's a big one. <laughs> that was funny. Catapulted the one like, out of there. One just went flying out. And hello, PT. Hi, PT. Um, so I do not see anything about that. I'm going to take notes on that, Ghosty. I can't believe I. It sounds really familiar, but now I'm wondering either if my notes are hidden in one of the other documents. Uh, or we talked about it and I, notes. I, I don't know, because it's a wonderful idea. Ghosty says, so back in high school, I ran track. Uh, and for a little while after I finished races, I wouldn't stretch because I'm a dumbass. Uh, so after doing all these races, I'd get in my car to drive home, and then my entire legs would just, they screw you, and pretty much every muscle in my legs would cramp. Always sucked. Man, Ty, do you even listen to anything I say? <laughs> Join the club. Um. I try. <laughs> I, I really think it, it's clear enough, as vague as it is, it's clear enough in my mind that I bet it's in some other notes that were in another subject where we talked about them again or something. Because also, Meat Cattle didn't really have a name until a couple of months ago. And this is what Ty was talking about. I, I am in a full-blown trolley horse right now. Are you really? I I would be... I'm sorry, guys! I gotta go! Hold on! I'll be right back! I'd be screaming. Uh, PT Lowry had to close Firefox. Lost the audio. That sucks. I hope you can hear us now. Also, sounds like we need to restart our Halloween. Something else. Nope, it's fine. Okay. 
No lie, I would be going, oh, I'd be screaming right now. It hurts so bad. <laughs> uh, lurking, fighting the man cold. Oh, no. Still got a cold, huh? Sorry. Yeah, you have a good one, too. Hope you feel better. white is just super super thick and i'm hating it is it some of the craft stuff or is it some of your regular or oh, is it oh that's usually thicker isn't it <laughs> yep. i don't know don't you love it when i make suggestions about painting it's fine i was gonna ask can you water in it that's what i'm doing oh Oh, it was not a dumb question. It was not. It was absolutely the exact right thing to do. Your paint. An attentive question, because sitting right in front of me. It's uh, absolutely what you should do if your paint is too thick. Thin it down with water or a thinning agent. Ghosty says. Mm. Uh, Ghosty says, I've always had a pretty much high pain tolerance, but when it comes to Charlie horses, needless to say, wouldn't be handing, handling it like you. I don't. I don't know because I've never had anyone else's pain, but <coughs> I'm guessing that it's, it's just not as bad as a normal Charlie horse. That's the only thing I can because it makes me scream well i know i have a higher pain tolerance than you yeah <laughs> oh. and to be fair my eyes are watering I've literally got my foot upside down so I can hold, and my other foot on top of it so I can hold my toe down. What are you giggling at? You with the, well, my eyes are watering. Talking about screaming. I guarantee you my eyes are watering while I'm screaming. <laughs> They also don't last as long. Yours do. I just refreshed the chat to get rid of that obnoxious chat mess. From the screen, anyway. What? Oh. We uh, kicked them out? I can't do that on you, as far as I know. Oh, that's on YouTube. One benefit of not reading chat, I didn't even notice it. I will say I am definitely spoiled by the fact that you read everything out to me. Oh, I can do stuff. Never mind, never mind. I'm a dummy. <sighs> As soon as you said it, I'm like, well, that's silly. Why would they not? That Nightbot message reminds me. I got to update our Nightbot mm. messages because nobody's shown any interest in fee subscriptions, so we're going to drop that on that. Yeah, it's still been... there, but we just haven't turned it off. Yeah, I mean, I haven't, I haven't really even been updating there because... Nothing. Uh, but yeah, we got to get our video done and stuff for people. Yeah. So much work to do there.
next month start putting together welcome pack that'll uh that'll be extra con i wanted to do one of them this month i think i'm just gonna get as much done as i can on the novella or olds first and next month aside from working on the, uh the packs packets um Also going to work on Cataclysm into and Hopper Hopper Jacks in the Garden. Those two are going to go in. Then we need to figure out what else. But uh, drivers already have Cataclysm, but Hopper Jacks Garden will be. Just need to go through a draft on that. Yeah, I thought about doing that one this month, but the two things are I didn't really have time. Yeah. And two. It's a fun action story, but it's not Halloween at all. You know? <laughs> Have you? Did I read that one to you? You don't think? That's not, I mean, the whole world's like that story. Yeah, I guess. But it's kind of up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I meant it as a compliment. <laughs> Still got it going on, huh? You want a glass of water? Oh, I can't hold on. I can't just my button's not working anymore because I put this other picture behind me and it just totally broke <laughs> my I Tyler thing. Well. Just walk away. Leave it. Okay. <laughs> That's what I do. I don't have a hide button. Hey. Yes, that is not a lie. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I know I should be talking, but I am struggling to just... I'm struggling to be alive right now. This hurts. know what I'm gonna do so I've been avoiding <clears throat> excuse me I've been avoiding the skin because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it like I really like the way it looks I like the gray you know yeah, I'm perhaps hold of me um so I want this I am yeah. actually here let me see. A little more caffeine. I doubt it. <laughs> Don't turn around. Oh, no. That's what you can do when you don't mind cold coffee. It's not cold. <sighs> anyway. I really like the gray. So I didn't really want to mess with it too much. Um, Happens every now and again. Like I put a base coat down. I'm like. But I think what I'm going to do is add um, add the apothecary white contrast paint. And that'll, I think that's all I'm going to do to his body. Right? I think it like looks really good. So I think what I'm going to do is just add this over the top of it. And that'll give it kind of a blue tone that'll happen in the in the shadows and stuff. And I, I think that's going to look really good. I'm going to leave it alone at that point. And just work on armor. What do you know about all the filth that's going on here, So, I think we're going to do the voting soon. What do you know about all the filth that's going on here, huh? 
but like Ty walked away and he didn't come. He left it. And I said we were going to get that, uh, the biggie figured out. And I know exactly what models are going to be in the vote for the big giveaway. Uh, for 150 followers. But we just haven't done it yet. Like, I've got them listed out. I know exactly what they're going to be. But I haven't even told Ty everything they're going to be. That's 100% on me. But we will be getting that done soon. What do you know about all the filth that's going on here, huh? It's like barely even showing up, but I... I have to, like... Go layer after layer after layer to make sure that I don't overdo it. I want to see some of that black through there. What do you know about all the filth that's going on here? Huh? All right. Now I'm going to switch to the bright silver. Yes, uh, so the vote, Ghosty, sorry, and Ty's not back yet, so I forget I have to actually, like, look. Uh, we're going to put up a poll, and the poll will determine the giveaway for tomorrow, whether it's going to be this model that I'm painting, like, literally, this will be shipped to the winner of the giveaway, or if we're going to give away an unpainted version of either the armored or the unarmored. So that'll be the vote. The vote today is to determine what is given away tomorrow. Because English is not working. Let go. Got these little claws and they are like grabbing the ever living crap out of my glove. I was just talking. I was telling Ghosty about what we're voting on today. I was just explaining to Ghosty what we're voting on today. Oh, gotcha. Ow! Stupid nails. Saying how we should go ahead and do the vote pretty soon. But how, you know, you're going to wait till you got back and that sort of stuff. Ghosty said, oh my gosh, speaking of point bits, I printed a handful pointy bits. <laughs> Not point bits. I printed a handful of Blood Knights and Holy Moly. They are so sharp. So many pointy bits. Yeah, I just printed off the, um, the, what does he have? He has an axe and he's in the charge position, I think it is. And I printed off two of them at two different sizes so that I could, you know, like we were talking about of like, I don't know why they're so small, but they shouldn't be. Um, but anyway, so I printed them off in two different sizes to see what I wanted to print for myself. Except, I don't know where one of them went. Because as I was pulling him out of the supports, his uh, axe caught on my glove, and I pulled, 
And then I realized that, you know, like, he wasn't in my hand. And I started looking around. And I was like, oh, he's stuck literally, like, holding my ha my glove like this. And I was like, oh, that's funny. And I went to pick him off of it. Except I didn't have a good grip with with this hand. So when I pulled, he, I, like, slingshot it. Because <laughs> he just, like, glove. yeah, like, he let go. Like, he slipped out of this hand. So he just, like... I'm like, I, I don't, I don't know where he is, but the other one that did survive was at, I think, I think it was 30% larger. I was like, I'm, I'm thinking that's the size I'm going to go with. Anyway. I don't know how long you can set a pole for. Uh, I can, you know. I printed out one of the horses and he's pretty much 100% stabby. <laughs> so if we're doing the unpainted one, is it going to be that one for sure then? No. We're not voting on the type, right? We're only voting on whether that if it's, painted one or... Well, the, I was going to say painted, which means this one that I'm working on yeah. specifically. Or if it's unpainted, they can get armored or unarmored. I don't care. Because I got to print it out anyway. Because this one I'm painting. Okay. I'm I'm painting. So just have those as different options. I think so. Yeah. Because it's fun to give away a painted one, but I also know I've got a bunch of painting buddies who might just want to paint it. Because it's so much freaking fun. I love this model. Yes, blow them that way. Out of my... <laughs> <laughs> then they just hit the fence. <laughs> yeah, but then it's just walk along the fence and toss them out. I know that sounds really bad, but actually what happens is our uh, city comes around and vacuums them up. So we literally just have to put them on the side where they can vacuum them. Switch back to the darker one. Now, the really fun thing is I'm going to take this big one, make it look like it was dipped in silk. I'm just thinking if we can leave it open for you know, like five minutes or something. That I happens. can do uh, five or ten. I'm thinking five minutes and that kind of helps people who are lurking kind of realize what's going on. And I mean, like I said, we can go to ten minutes and just let it go for a little while. That's fine. All right, so we're going to say, should we give the painted or unmade, unpainted bat? And then it's the options are painted crawling bat, unpainted armored bat, unpainted unarmored. Yes. All right. We are going to start the poll right now. That's what oh. we're going to give away. Whatever the vote is, that's what we're going to give away tomorrow on our 100th stream. That was hard to say. Well, it's just, it's, I mean, we're actually more than that. The 100th. Crip monkey. Oh, I didn't even think about it like that. But you're right, that is the case. We've done more than that. Yeah, except I've done way. like the painting ones recently. I still need to do the laser etching one. I didn't have time this week or the week. 
This is the hundredth time I've sat down and painted shit. Done the the resin coating dreams. Where I'm coating my laser etched coasters. Um like this. See, you can see like the black coming through and the armor just looks really cool like that. Ours. Okay. So well, yeah, we've done other other stuff. He doesn't really I don't know, Ghosty, if you're having the same issue I am, but he's like he wants to fall that way every time I let go. I can't get him to stand properly without, I think he's going to have to be glued to get. But I mean, I've got him in his little feet spot. He's got one there, one there, and then you can see his claw goes, this claw goes right there. He still doesn't want to. Oh, I guess I shouldn't do that so close to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Bartender. You know them guns. I've actually okay. So it started off being funny. But I realized it really does make a difference. Uh so we have these big 4K bottles of resin, is how I order them. And I started being silly and shaking them really high up like a bartender. And I can feel it in the back of my arms. I'm like, oh shit, I Building up my guns. I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did have that probably. That's why I ultimately decided to print the other pose. He just stands better. That's ghosty. I think he meant problem. Yeah, I oh. did have that problem. That's why. I... So you've got. You got this pose. I mean, it's the same pose. The this is the attack pose. No, this is the crawling pose. No, I think Crap, which the, one is this? Uh, hold on just a second. I can... did have it. Um, they are, if you hold it back on it so its feet are touching on both of them, they both do that, right? Yeah, yeah that's... They're, it's the same pose. That's the attack pose. Uh, ready to strike. Ready to strike pose. Which one did you put, do? Other one. Uh, Lunge. Okay. Oh. The lunge one is the one that you had that failed. Right. right. Now, so I'm doing this apothecary white screen. We have different lists. We've got a set of options. We've got crawling bat scream and crawling bat ready to strike. No. Fix it with an older model no this is new should be in the new releases section should be in the new release i just looked at lord of the print to find it. oh i'll fix it later not where i want it And for those of you that are lurking, don't forget to come in, you know, jump on and, or jump over and vote for tomorrow's giveaway. Uh, Go season, so I did both. Did you already read that bit? Uh, so I printed the one you're painting now, it failed, and I printed the crawling bat scream and it stands well. Heard that noise on the on the video, and I thought you were 
slurping your coffee. Like, I did slurp to, my coffee. No, just now, but before that, the music was making like a slurping noise. I'm like, why would you do that? <laughs> I didn't even notice it. <laughs> Ghosty says, so out of curiosity, what kind of role do you think the names characters like Wellfinder, Gareth, and the ghost will play? Like, will they mainly be characters just for the campfire stories, or will they play a larger role in the game's larger books? Uh, they are going to be both. I I can't say that Golden Ghosty Stories is not going to be in the short story book, because I you get an idea about something and you're like, this is the way it's going to be. And initially I thought, well, we're going to just have them for campfire stories and they'll be, cause we're going to do a campfire stories book separate as well. Um, but then, uh, the, after, well, probably after I, we got the idea for what Wellfinder Gareth's story this month was going to be, uh, that one's going short story book. Um, and, I think last month when I was working on the first Golden Ghost story, I knew that was going to be a character for the gaming material. So essentially, they're probably going to end up in all of those things. I don't know about novels for sure, but in the short stories, the campfire story, and the gaming content, I think they're going to be in all of those. Uh, the Wellfinder Gareth story just way up. I mean, where it's going to go went really big after this last. Um, so I imagine that's going to happen with our other street level hero, the Ghost, too. I'll get an idea that'll have a big arc, essentially. <laughs> but right now, he's fun because he's like a, an A team. Kind of, he doesn't have a team exactly, although he can together. But he's that sort of a Robin Hood that gets paid kind of character. Um, Ghosty says, "I read that one the other night. Can definitely see how he could be a significant thing." The uh, Wellfinder Gareth, you mean? I think. Yeah, I think they're both going to be significant characters. They're both going to in Gareth. Yeah, uh, I, they're both going to be significant. They're both going to influence gaming materials from us. Um, and they're here's the thing: they're both world changers. I think that's what comes down to it. They're both characters who change the world from time to time that's why they're famous Go golden ghost is probably more famous than he should be <laughs> but that's because he acts outside of the norm you know but as a stalker he's probably not supposed to be that famous <laughs> And I guess that's a, probably a good uh, segue of reminder, too, that if there's stuff that you want to ask about that you don't want to ask about in chat, remember, you guys have the Placement Advisors Discord channel, too, that you can always ask us anything in there, certainly. Not that we uh, don't appreciate it being asked here, but and if you think I might tell you something there, I wouldn't tell you here, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, also, go on if you can interrupt me if you want paintings. I'm okay with it. Well, um, I'm, what I'm doing is not all that interesting. I'm basically, I'm just coating, I'm coating my base coat with the apothecary white um, contrast paint. That's it. Okay. And that's going to take me a little bit. Go for it. Well, it's, uh. I think probably, and Dawn, you can 
tell me if you agree or not. I think right now where we're at with the two stories for each of our street level heroes is Gareth's character puts him it's obvious what kind of character is right but with the golden ghost at, at the moment the way the stories are told even with the short story last month it is very much mysterious hearsay so it's hard to uh, pinpoint even like what is he like personally or anything i think we'll we'll learn that eventually but right now it's kind of hard to say a serious stallone action figure or is he a uh michael deadpool I, I can't really tell yet right yeah um so it's a it's a little bit unfair to him at the moment but but i think it's also fun to get that intrigue up front first and then later we'll actually make personality easily known right now i think he's kind of a mystery Whereas Gareth is, you know, well, Finder Gareth is a character that he's famous simply for being able to survive things. Well, for two reasons. One, he can survive things. And two, he can find water where other people haven't been able to. That's very important. Now. Being able to uh, successfully hit large water rivers and stuff like that where more than a single family well dug ghosty says i don't know if you guys have ever played the call of duty modern warfare games but for some reason i can't stop envisioning the golden ghost looking somewhat similar to ghost from the new game not sure why i don't remember what ghost looks like i haven't played uh the modern warfare Played COD with. I didn't play at all. I'm gonna put this one on Elliot. Oh, you did it at land parties. That's how far back. 0405 time period. I don't know. Doesn't seem familiar. It's not my typical sort of game. Not that I have an issue with it or anything like that. I'm just not good at it. That was fun back then. We would rent uh, in one of the schools I went to. Eight in, part of eighth grade. Uh, Herman, Missouri. We The school was shut down, but the people that owned the building would rent out parts of it. So we would rent the used to be the the workshop for shop class um uh, the gym no the gym was what became a skate park by another owner late but we would rent out the old uh shop classroom oh that's right because it was just right next to the gym wasn't it yes yeah it was right next to the gym but it was down at street level and we could like park right there and pull of our tables and gear and all that stuff in there and have land parties like big land parties with everybody. Now you don't have to do that stuff anymore. Because <laughs> they have big internet parties with everybody, right? It was fun though. Remember I used to get mad whenever land features would work right on a game. <laughs> oh. The games even come with land features anymore? I don't even know. Got it. Um do, 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 where am I? So Go says, I'll have to send a picture of him in Discord. Yeah, do that. Even the small oh. You okay? Not worry about him. I thought you got poked or something. I'm worried about him. Oh, I think he's okay. I'll have to send a picture of him in Discord. Even the small bits of personality we have of the Golden Ghost make him make me think of COD's ghost. Uh, Garrus says, sorry guys, kids got super active, dumb for a bit there. <laughs> no problem. Oh okay. god, the first hour of a LAN party was always rough having to figure stuff out. Yeah, it always seemed like you had at least one. The LAN party was bigger than maybe three or four people, too, that had to, like, divide and conquer to help them solve their problems on their 
their system to get them to access the game. Uh, yeah, but I would usually get your system ready before the party. I know, but it was a nightmare to get it to go. But some of our friends would have like all the weird pop-ups and stuff that you guys remember from the late 90s and early 2000s was just nightmare. Why are you not getting rid of this? Do an internet search and figure out how to get rid of this. This is terrible. <laughs> There's a name flashing red lights in my head. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know who you're talking about. And I think when you say the first hour, that might be generous, at least for the LAN parties I went to. It, it could be more than that. We definitely would... People would be eating... While other people were still trying to get in the game. <laughs> and we were all learning back then. I was already a software developer then, but... Was learning about networks. I still didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't quick and clever at it, for sure. But a lot of it fell to another one of our friends who was a network. He had gotten out of school the same time as me. Uh, yeah, it was a, at a minimum an hour. Right, yeah. Just send a picture on Discord. Oh, I see it. Oh, he's fun. Get a chance to... Got it on the screen for you. Ghosts. Face. Oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, and I don't even know that he would dress like this all the time. But I can see him doing that. I mean, he's smart. He'd do that for effect, too. Uh, like in the first story you read about him, the, the, the bigger one. Short story-sized campfire story. He's dressed in all black, and it's a dark room. and It's intended to be. Intimidating, right? Um, Rusty says, I used to always do land parties with my cousins back in the Halo 3 days. Always such a blast. I kind of assumed you were too young to even know what a land party was, to be honest. Uh, yeah, we, we played, I think it was Halo 2. It might have been Halo 1. We were... Uh, I could see it being an intimidation type thing, like in certain jobs, he kind of needs to scare people. Yeah, I I think he does that a lot. I think he scares people a lot. Uh, and if that's not what he's doing, then you just don't see him. You don't see him. I mean, that that's in this last story. He can go unseen. But, but yes, yeah, so I have a I have a general idea of what we're going to do with the ghost, certainly with gaming. Story-wise, I kind of need to figure out next step. And Wellfinder Gareth. Uh, I'm trying to remember how many stories we kind of laid out the other day. Three, the next three? Kind of no plot-wise what's being targeted at least. Yeah, I think so. Two for sure. Yeah. But yes, to answer your question, I think I think both of them are going to end up being. I mean, I don't know about novels. That's really hard to say. Just one story and whatever the subject is. At least right now, that that's tough to say. But. Uh. Short stories, the campfire stories, absolutely for sure. I feel super confident. Gaming con, uh, the gaming con, one of the first things thinking. Uh, the golden goat. Um, Holden says, "I'm a bit of an old so." Oh, 
We'll, we'll, Bye, we'll catch you later, Garrett. Thanks for hanging out. Because I'm a bit of an old soul. My brother is eight years younger than me, and I always... Older. Older, sorry. And I, okay, I'm, you just do it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm a bit, a bit of an old soul. My brother's eight years older than me, and I always was around him and his friends, so I was always playing Halo and COD with him and his friends when I was a lot younger than I should have been be playing games like that. Halo, COD, Battlefield. It's still to this day one of my favorite games, Battlefield 2142. Like years ago, I think. Of course, my all time favorite was Tribe. Tribes. Oh my gosh. I love me some tribes. Also, I, I had a did big, not. <laughs> had a big head about it too, though, because I never used any cheat scripts. Not once. Never even looked for cheat scripts and tribes, but I occasionally, certainly when the newer tri was a tribe's vengeance came out, and had in one game I had someone saying, "Oh, you, you're you're scripted, you're you're scripted, you're you know, calling me a hacker and stuff." Another person who'd been around longer, I guess, was like, "Nope, <laughs> been playing with Crypt Monkey since uh, Tribes Two. Just that good <laughs> but i didn't start out that good it's a hard game it's not that i didn't enjoy tribes i did the problem that i had with tribes is i suck so basically i would go in like i would play with just like bots on super simple and just fly around and have fun but i am one of those people that i'm like okay i'm gonna shoot freeze aim shoot yeah Nope, I'm dead. <laughs> so basically, I'm like, hey, the game started. I'm dead. Cool. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm alive. I'm dead. I'm. For, for I'm anybody that hasn't played Tribes before, it's a it's a fast paced FPS. And I suck at FPS. So fast paced FPS, I really suck at. With a third dimension, so instead of just running around, you have very you have very useful uh, jetpacks, and. Which it's, it's not like other games where it's like, <laughs> oh, you burn that off and you get a little bit of a boost and you're on top of a building and you're done. Those always after playing tribes, those always felt weak to me. No, you you're pretty much flying across the map. You still have an energy bar, but have skiing. And I didn't pay attention to the oh. energy bar either, so I would fall to my death as well. <laughs> yeah, because that's all about timing too, right? It's, oh, I was so bad at it. <laughs> you know, using that jetpack to come up mm. and then. Finding that hill and then landing the, just in the right spot on the hill to ski down the hill. And you've got the power off, so you're recharging, you're recharging, you start to come up. And then when you hit the apex of another hill, hit your jetpack again, and then you're flying even higher. Oh, it was a wonderful feeling game. Ghosty says, I'm very, very excited to see what kind of future they have. I got to say, I like the grittier feel of the first ghost story and even the Gareth story. There was a lot of suspense and grit. Really enjoyed that. Yeah, I mean, I want to have a mix. And I was, I'm glad you liked the grit of the first one. I was concerned. It was very much like the Terra Olds kind of stuff, which I love writing, but I didn't want you guys to feel like it was too serious for, you know, characters named after your avatars. But anyway, um, yeah, I think we're going to get both. Like the, you're going to have people sitting around in a pub telling a story like they did this last Golden Ghost story. Especially when it's so mysterious. It's, it's very much the campfire story, right? Where, oh yeah, my, my uncle, his friend's friend was talking about it, so it really happened. But, um, it's like stories through telephone game. <laughs> but you, uh, you got to have that lighter feeling for those sorts of stories. And when it's more of the short story. More specific, more accurate, and... I guess. 
Yes, the first the first Golden Ghost story was very serious. I was worried. That was awesome. But I just felt like it was a good introduction to what he really does. I love the wind. Why well, I keep turning around to look at it. Uh, Ghosty says, No, I'm a huge fan of the grit. I do also love the more lighthearted storytelling of the most recent one. I think it's really fun to spread their legends. I think it's like a good contrast. You hear what others think of him. Then you see what really happened. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm laughing. I'm not. I'm, I'm laughing because that very specifically reminded me of something else. I'm not gonna say right now. Absolutely not gonna say right now. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to talk to me again later. I'm lost. I. Yeah, I'm not gonna give it away. I'm not. I'm not even gonna try to clue you in right now. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. You know what? What else is fun about these? Street level heroes is that, uh, and I think I said this last week, but in my mind, the differentiating point between the street level heroes like Wellfinder Gareth and Golden Ghost is that uh, the difference between them and the really huge, almost godlike legends, living legends, I don't know what the right way to put it, I guess the living legend, the sort of current time sort of thing, right? Uh, people like Mark. Uh, the other guy, I can't remember his name right now. He's considered to be like immortal. People think he's immortal and stuff. The difference between those two kinds of story heroes is that uh, you really would run into Wellfinder Gareth or the you might actually be in a situation where the Golden Ghost is on a mission in your area and catch a glimpse of him. But the like Mark, I mean, might think you met him, but the thing is, is there's so many people pretending <laughs> that it's like written into law. What happens to you if you impersonate places like Longshore, where it's rampant? Yeah. Um. So maybe of course, meet him, or maybe really hard to tell if you did meet. You know that there there is laws in place to make sure that you don't impersonate Mark, but there are also celebrations where you're supposed to be impersonating Mark. Yeah, that's true. But you're you're dressing up and you're pretending to be Mark on Mark's day and and stuff like that. You're not actually you're not trying breaking to get, the, yeah you're not trying to get money. Yeah, you're not pretending to be Mark. Yeah, you're trying to win an award for having the best Mark costume, not get a job. That was in one of the. Uh... Excerpts Ads, from yeah. the Longshore Courier was a pub that was doing a Mark lookalike contest. Mm -hmm. uh, and Golden, no, I won't. <laughs> this is a... Uh, all will be. All will be revealed when it should be revealed and not before, and I will not ruin it. Well, luckily, with the subscriber changes that we did, even though this month's been rough, we should be able to get to those. I think Ghosty says that's mean. Um, hopefully it'll by next working. year it'll be the kind of thing that people... I think it was volume one, right? Yes. Okay, so yes, should be next year. But actually, you could find out sooner. That ends up. And just so you know, Golden, it was volume two that this was planned for. So I am being nice, and I bumped it up a whole volume. Isn't that funny, too? Originally, we were going to do a game. We're going to do a short story. We already know that's not, that's not what we got. Two volumes of short stories, basically from one or two weekend sit-downs. I think that one of the short stories is now a novella. That's yeah. Um... Played around with the idea of the campfire storybook. That's going to happen. More than one of those, probably. Hopefully. And the game worlds. Did our poll finish? Oh, I should probably check that.
All right, yep, the only, there was only one person paying attention. It is going to be the painted crawling bat, so it's going to be the one that you've got there. Oh, actually, that's a tie because we had a vote for yeah. unpainted. Uh, Rock fan voted front talked about armored versus unarmored yet. So. No, it's actually because Rock fan also removed themselves from the possibility of winning it. We're just going to go with the one person. Okay. So it's it's going to be this one. Painted crawling bat. Rufy. So, I think I... What time is it? It is exactly one o'clock. Cool. Okay. Ghosty says, Do you think you'll flesh out the street level heroes' backstories or keep it a, keep it a mystery, like how the ghosts got into the stalkers, how Gareth became... Such a well-known well finder, that stuff. I uh, hadn't really thought about back backstory. I was going to say I'm I don't think that you had thought about it, but considering where these are how these are developing, I think they will be fleshed out. I mean Well, I, I haven't on, thought am about Am I on camera? I'm I've got yes, glue, so yes. I've thought about backstory. I haven't thought about like we need to do backstory. I have thought that the golden ghost very likely was because so the, here's the thing with stalkers stalkers tend to come from one of military areas they were a soldier or they were a mercenary because those aren't oftentimes they're not sometimes mercenaries a lot of times i guess maybe former soldiers but it's not super often uh, you think about a mercenary job, and it's it's a lot like a bunch of the jobs on Cathar. If you're a if you're a buyer, or if, or if you're a mercenary, you're thinking I'm going to do this one job, then I I can kind of do what I really want to do. You know, I'm going to make so much money from this, I can I can do this other thing. Mercenaries a lot of times end up being farmers, right? Uh, so anyway, I digress. Stalkers tend to be former soldiers, usually from a single war, or mercenaries. And then occasionally, they were guides that didn't necessarily have an adventure that they were specific, and they were just, I guess you could say, mercenaries, but they were guides, and the guides take rich people out to a cops for a vacation for six six months years right anyway they had some sort of military type background well the one thing i did think about the golden ghost is that he probably had multiples of these he's one of those people who's been or worked as a mercenary and maybe even also did guide work for if you're wondering how you do all of those things uh last Sunday, I think I did mention. There's something about the world where people, human beings, live longer. So, while I didn't think about, while I didn't think about backstory specifically, like how it would come about, I did think I think this guy has done anything. You getting hungry? Um, yeah, we haven't eaten yet. Saturdays and Sundays are rough in the morning. Get up. Get stuff done downstairs. Get the stream going. Yeah. Um, Ghosty says, oh, you know, just to pop a little idea out there, maybe started out as a Kern soldier. Could kind of show how he got a good training before becoming a mercenary or a guide. Yeah, I can absolutely see that. Yeah, I mean, it. I think that works really well. The interesting thing, though, is that I don't see his demeanor necessarily matching the serious, easy to anger Kern folks either. That doesn't well, mean that he isn't like maybe he's from the outreaches. He grew up on a farm out on the edge of the hills or something. 
Maybe uh, that's why he's not there anymore. His demeanor didn't fit there. Yeah, he was like, been here, done this, and I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> Golden. <laughs> Maybe that's why he left. Yeah. <laughs> See? yeah so we, we talked about the current medic before, right? Mm -hmm. These guys are healers who don't care if you survive the remedy. <laughs> they just need you to finish whatever current battle you're on. That kind of fits how a lot of people behave uh, in the current king. And that's definitely like the ghost is looking to survive but also help people. Kinda, you beat me to it by a second, he said. I kind of like that idea of of that he's he was in the Kern clan and that's exactly why he's not there anymore. He's like, alright, I've I've done my duty and now I'm gonna go live my best life and make things he's kind of almost righting the wrongs that he felt like he was made to do. Excuse me. Yeah. He's a rebel. That's why I see. That generations always rebel against whatever's going on. He, he, he rebelled in that way. You guys are too serious. <laughs> and mean. I'm so serious. You know somebody has. No, he's a joker. Boy. See, I think this gra the color of this grass is just perfect for this. And it is kicking. Yeah, it is. Ooh. I don't know how many times you guys are... I mean, you guys are going to get sick of hearing me say that. Sorry. The wind is pissed there are still on the tree. I will take care of this. Uh, Goshi says, maybe some kind of elite Kern soldier, like special forces or something, and did things he wasn't necessarily proud of, so decided to use that training to clean his slate. Yeah. I think so. All right, let me take some notes. I know that the grass has sticky stuff. I just don't feel like it actually. I, for longevity, like to put super glue down. Probably overkill. Rather safe. Rather be safe than sorry. Not where the hell. Looks so pretty. We have to be careful this doesn't turn into a, a novel or something. <laughs> Why? Oh, I just... <laughs> I have a tendency to... Oh, I don't know where it saved. A gun. Oh, of course it went to... There's a gnat in here. Uh, Windows... Went to my OneDrive. All right. So, next part is going to be getting him on his base.
All right, so we have some ideas if we do pursue that anyway. All right, now I feel like I got to catch up with you. I was just gluing grass around. About to put him on the base. Yeah. Um, because the after that, like, I feel like everything is kind of done. And it's just checking over fiddly bits and adding a little bit of gore because it's Halloween. Um... Which all should be done while he's on his base, so that the gore can translate from him to his base, and done so accurately. Trying to make sure. Hard to see, but that thumb is holding that claw up against that rock. <laughs> Ghosty says, I'm getting a little carried away now. <laughs> yes. There's nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. Um, yeah, I need to figure out... Uh, still need to figure, figure out, out legal and what... called word count we're going to pay. There's a range, so I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Folks that want to write on the plane. That looks awesome, Dawn. Loving it. Thank you. So, of course, you know... Gotta have some... I'm thinking... Oh. See, and this is why... Up a little. Pick some of his spots. And when I touched it, like his nail, it moved, and I wasn't sure if it was the whole thing or if he was actually loose from it. So I'm thinking uh, that looked like it could go uh bad. Yeah, it can. Oh. Uh don't have those in here. I've got uh I'm gonna step away for a second because I've got a dried blood that I need all alone now. Uh, well, hopefully we have enough people on tomorrow that we can storm. If we can't, then that's just the way it goes. That would be fun to be able to talk. I know I keep saying this, but I'll say it for anybody that's hanging in the background. Know about it. Yeah, um, we kind of look at the the storm is one of our dungeons or the gaming side of things if we can't talk storm what else might we do well we're going to talk about, we're going to go back to uh Agdal farm since since people are aware now that uh you build castle walls or parapets or whatever i i hope anyway that that a uh, farmstead looks different to people Knowing a little bit more about the world than they do. They'll go back to maybe talk to people a little bit about crying shed stuff that. Yeah, seeing what kind of ideas people have now that the world's developed a little. I think either way, it's going to be fun. This is dried blood. Just kind of adds a little bit of soreness around 
where he's got his armor attached to him. Then I'll put fresh blood in his mouth. I scheduled a poll for placement advisors out by <laughs> Oh, it's tomorrow. All right, so anyway, tomorrow at 930 placement advisors patreon will have a new poll come out 9 30 a.m uh central time i believe so 10 30 eastern um new poll for next month's fire story start thinking about that but just asking thoughts on Possible directions we can go for one of the campfire stories. So look for that tomorrow. Makes it look very tender. It does. Raw even. Yeah. Did with laws coming up. Well, you know, it's it's the same idea of you're talking about these, right? Yeah, the big are. ones. It's the same idea of they've got silver armor because they're fighting werewolves. So they've dipped their big fighting claw in silver as well. Big bone swords or something. This is blood of the blood god. So this is fresh blood. Oh, can I got to do some research. On? I, I need to quit saying I need to go look up the going value for uh, right ears. Word counters. <laughs> so this is why I wanted to wait and put the blood on until after I've gotten him on his base so that I could rip it on him. Literally just dabbing it on the the grass right in front of his face. I'll put pictures in Discord. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing. And... For the final touch of super fun, my newest toy, this, which I bought on Amazon, I thought the tube was going to be like, <laughs> but it wasn't that expensive though, right? It was not expensive. It was like $12 and I'm never going to go through this because I'm actually bring my palette over where you can see it better too. Like, I guarantee you this is going to go bad before I can get through it. I just want to use that one. So. Oh! It's glue. And I mean, technically, I guess I could 
use it as glue and, and maybe go through it. But I, I don't need it for glue. I need it for exactly what it's doing right there and getting all stringy on me. It makes wonderful cool. Like, I'm not even want, I don't even care about waiting until the blood of the blood gods is dry because if it mixes with the drool, it's just cooler. And Ty and I figured out if I sit and hold it until it kind of gets dry, like this, then it'll stay in that position. I can kind of clip it away. Right now, I don't really feel like doing it. It's really what it, I, I need to put this down to be able to do that because I need. Oh, uh. What was that you, you used? Just now, this stuff. All purpose at UH. You, Find a link. If you type in UHU to Amazon, you're going to come across this tube. It, it was like, I saw somebody else using it, and I was like, I couldn't get the whole name because they were going off it too quickly. I feel really bad. I feel really ignorant. It's um from a country oh, damn it. that I've never heard of. Literally stuck my finger. So she says, I'm going to need uh, some of that stuff. That seems awesome. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's... I mean, from your first test, it was pretty great. Yeah. You can see it kind of going through there. I, I literally just, like, made a mess over here. Because I put it on the side of my palette that has a whole bunch of wet paint, and then, so, like, the paint just got in it. Basically, all kind of stupidness just happened. <laughs> um, but if you... Like I said, I'm going to put pictures in Discord, but, I mean, I've, I've got drool going from tooth to tooth. And I just picked it up on Amazon. I, I literally, like, the guy was like, you know, he was doing the speed paint thing, and he did this, and I'm like, pause! Like, I can't even read the damn thing. All I could get was the UHU, and I typed it in, and it was the first thing that popped up. But it is super amazing, super I love it. It is the best thing for drool ever. I'm sure there's things out there that work amazing, but, like, this was literally $12. I'm never going to go through this unless I actually use it for glue. But why would I? Because drool. I love it. Oh, look at that. looks dry. I guess I'm going to... Which I'm sure. Like, we did a test where I literally just went like this and held it. And it, it dries fairly quickly. And then Ty came over and cut it. And it stayed down like that. You mean to come over there? Yeah. I'm, I'm letting it dry. One of the other things I did was I, <laughs> I tested on another model where I just let it hang. See if I can get the Because <laughs> it it does kind of cool off. I say cool off because it's not hot. It does dry fairly quickly. So slimy.
climb right out once. Hey. What else? Already curing up. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll let it stay like that and I'll cut that little bubble off once it's curing. Cured, cured. I don't want that bubble. Ooh. All right, so I do have some writing great information. You and I can talk about it later, and then I think I'll add a channel for people that are interested. I'll add a channel to to Discord explaining all of that. Okay. But obviously, has... first you and I got to talk. I am going to have to set him down because I'm going to need like two hands. I want to put a little pool on the ground of this. But, oh, you know what? That would be a great way to show. Like, even if you were going in between the models or like two pieces of a model, you can see how, you know, it's... It's stringy and gross and amazing. So. That got too thick. Maybe we were just in a different. Doesn't that look more focused? Yeah. So if you're coordinated more so than I am, you <laughs> could actually just work with the lid. But see, like it, it's, it's, you guys, you zoomed in. It, it's yeah, like, zoom out. I'll no, zoom it's out. fine. It's like drooling, dripping out, making a mess. But I like try to get the lid back on it really super quick because I just don't need that much. <laughs> but now there's drool on his mouth. You can zoom back in now, babe. There's drool on his mouth. And it just makes it gooey and nasty. And I love it. It's amazing. So, super fun tool to have in your arm. But he is done. Love him. Oh, and somebody tomorrow is going to win him. About to ask. Me. No. Now you've already, well, you put up the poll and we lost him. <laughs> so, basically, the only thing I need to do is clear coat. And what I'll do is um, matte clear coat on all of the, the rock and him. Uh, gloss clear coat on the armor and the mouth. No eyes to have to worry about. Um... Yeah, and then I will add, so I've, I've added the, the lichen, this stuff, lichen, to the base, and that stuff grows in moist areas. So what I'll do is I will blow, or matte clear coat the rock itself, but where I've got the green stuff, lichen, lichen I will add gloss so that it looks wet, but not like... I won't gloss like this. I'll gloss in the crevice, so that's where the water is sitting that it's pull pulling from. Ghosty says that looks amazing. Yeah, I'm super happy with like these little spots turned out awesome. Um, but I am hungry, so we're done painting. We have our giveaway for tomorrow. Um, don't know what the hell I'm going to paint while we're talking, but I will paint something. I do. So we can talk about that. Um, I do have a super awesome dragon that I just pr printed out in one solid piece. So, and he's a an undead dragon, so that kind of fits. Yeah. 
I also have a pumpkin. Yes. That I just printed out. Um, oh, good. With a lot of details on him. So that's a possibility. You're talking about the one from our new... Uh... Yeah, the new release one. That well, we it's just also got. one of our newer modelers, too. Yeah. Um, so... Having fun with metallics, yes. Um, yeah. That's going to be it for today. I will put pictures of him in Discord, guys. And don't forget to be here tomorrow for our 100th episode. episode. And we'll be giving away that guy. Night guy, or not night. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Keep both. <laughs>